My name is Dylan Jones. I work for Derry Building Services. And I started as an electrical apprentice on site and I've progressed into the office as an electrical design engineer. Towards the end of my apprenticeship, I showed an interest of wanting to come into the office and I got invited into the office by a director to become an electrical design engineer. That works by going to college one day a week to study a HNC in electrical engineering. And the rest of the week, I'm either on site or in the office working on different projects. An electrical design engineer looks at all the power requirements for the building, i.e. sockets or data or lighting, and we put them all into a, a model or on a drawing, and then we go and deliver them on site. No day tends to be the same. I'm either at college, walking around site or in a design meeting, or I'm looking at models or drawings and trying to correct them. Even though I've moved into the office, I still have a connection with the apprentices, so if they need a question answering and they feel like they can't go to anyone else, they can ring me up. If you like science and maths, becoming an electrical apprentice is a great opportunity, because on site you're using physics and maths every day to work out stuff. The most valuable thing for me was earning whilst I was learning during my apprenticeship, and the fact that I was gaining a qualification without any debt behind me. Once you finish your apprenticeship, there's lots of room for progression. You can become a design engineer, a contracts engineer, or it's limitless, you could go on further. In the future, I'd like to finish my studies and progress to become a senior design engineer. I'd also like to continue helping apprentices throughout their studies.